I have been ranting for years about Bull Bull and his potential and why he needs an opportunity and what he could be doing if he actually got playing time in the NBA. And his opportunity has finally came with the Orlando Magic. If you guys watch my channel, you know how high I've been on Bull Bull. I have made countless videos about just his potential, why he needs playing time, and I made my most recent video about Bull Bull was in this offseason talking about how this could finally be his opportunity to break out, and that's exactly what's happening. He's been extremely efficient for the Magic this season. His minutes are getting increasingly, he's getting increasingly more and more of a role on this team, and in today's video, I'm going to talk about what he's done so far this season, why the Magic are just geniuses for finally giving this guy an opportunity and what's in store for the rest of this season and really the rest of his career and how this is just the start for Bull Bull and his incredibly unique skill set. So like I mentioned, the Magic are doing a really good job of using Bull in the right way. You don't want to give him too many minutes right off the bat since he hasn't really got that in his NBA career so far, but they're increasingly giving him more and more minutes every game. In the first game of the season, he had 17 minutes. In the second game, he had about 11. And since that second game, he has increasingly had a few more minutes in every single game except for the game two games ago against the Golden State Warriors where I mean it just didn't make sense to play in that game because defensively he didn't match up at all against the Warriors three-point shooting offense and moving and cutting offense he just didn't match up well there so he didn't get a lot of minutes but he had a career high 37 minutes in the overtime loss yesterday to the Orlando Magic and also put up a career high 23 points in yesterday's game so really just overall the Magic have done a really good job of easing him into his role, getting him consistent minutes, and just slowly increasing the amount of minutes he has each game so that he can have a consistent amount of minutes and get a consistent amount of experience at the NBA level. Because this is what I've been saying the whole time. Mobile has always had this kind of skill in his game, but the amount, the little amounts of increments of time he got to play with the Denver Nuggets wasn't enough for him to not only just get enough experience at the NBA level but just get into a groove on both ends of the floor in his role and it's almost like a lot of the time he was trying to do too much and prove that he deserved that playing time because there's only so much you can do when you have five minutes on the floor and touch the ball two times but now that he's on a tanking team in the magic he's been able to get into a groove with his role and he's showing how when he gets a consistent amount of minutes yes he's still gonna make a lot of mistakes but he can dominate and be a very efficient off offensive player. He has a very unique skill set and he can impact the game in so many different ways. So let's talk about first how in Bull is impacting the game on the offensive side of the floor. He has been one of if not the most efficient scorer in the NBA so far this year. I mean, he's doing a great job of being able to use his creative kind of skill set to get himself to the rim. He's done a great job of cleaning up the glass, getting buckets down low. He's been able to post up and shoot some fadeaways and get to the rim a lot of the time with that. And just in general, he's done a great job around the rim. This is where most of his scoring is going to come, and I'm yes, I'm going to talk about his jump shot and his three-point shooting as well, which is the most exciting part of his game, but the best part of his game is his interior scoring, how not only does he just get is a lob threat and just get passes down low, cleans up the glass and gets easy buckets around there, but he's able to create his own shot. He's able to have creative moves in the paint. He's able to make these euro steps, spin moves, crossovers to be able to get to the rim and get easy buckets with, of course, his 7-2 height and his 7-8 wingspan, he can just be unguardable around the rim a lot of the time. His ability to get these buckets around the rim in a guard-like fashion, if you will, is something that very, very few players in the NBA can do and just makes him so unguardable, unpredictable, and just so much of a unique overall player. And then, of course, just with his jump shot, I mean, he's been able to get a lot of opportunities to shoot shots in the mid-range area, whether that's off the dribble or off of the catch. He's done a really good job of that and then his three-point shot has been pretty consistent as well whether that's down the stretch in games him just spacing the floor and standing out in the corner and getting opportunities to catch and shoot the threes he got a couple of those in the overtime game yesterday which uh, by the way it's incredible to see bull in like clutch time situations that's just sometimes when i was watching with the nuggets i, would, I thought i'd never get to see that but 
finally, he's getting to play not only a lot of minutes, but play in the fourth quarter as well, down the stretch in games. So that's just been incredible to see. He's been thriving in those situations, and overall offensively, he's just been able to show that he can do it all this year. Let's look at his stats so far this year offensively. So he's been putting up about 11.5 points per game, but I think that's definitely going to continue to go up throughout the rest of the season as he continues to get more minutes per game. Like I said, so far he's averaging 23 minutes per game, but in the last few games, that's definitely been a way higher average than that, and that's going to continue to be the case throughout the rest of the season. And when we look at Bull's efficiency stats, I mean, he's literally, like I said, one, been one of the most efficient scorers in the NBA. Should shooting 69.5% from the field, 38.5% from three on one and a half attempts per game, and he's number one in the league in both effective field goal percentage at 73.2% and true shooting at 75.4%. And the most incredible part of that is that he's not, it's not like he's just some Rudy Gobert type of player that's just a traditional big man just getting easy lobs, cleaning up the glass, and easy buckets around the rim all the time to lead him to a 75% true shooting. Like I said, he's been shooting jump shots in the mid-range area, shooting threes off of the dribble, using these guard-like type of moves to get to the rim himself, euro-stepping, shooting floaters inside of the paint. It's not just all around the rim. So the fact that he's number one in the league in both effective field goal percentage and true shooting is really just incredible and shows really his full potential offensively. And something else I wanted to point out about his game is obviously his playmaking and passing ability still needs a little bit of work he's only averaging about half an assist per game so far this year but that's another part of his game that we've seen throughout his career in college sometimes that can develop a little bit and also fans have had concerns throughout Bull's career so far about kind of him being a little bit uncoordinated and out of sorts sometimes and having a lot of turnovers but so far this year he's only averaging one and a half turnovers per game in 23 minutes per game and in his first NBA season in his couple games in the bubble he he averaged the same amount, 1.5 turnovers, in about half the minutes, only averaging 12 minutes per game. So, I mean, he's been able to keep that in check as well. He's looked definitely a lot better, kind of coordinated and in shape. And I think a lot of the reasons why he was having so many turnovers too in the last couple years with the Nuggets is what I was talking about earlier about him just kind of trying to do too much. But he's been able to settle into his role really nice and those turnovers have gone down a little bit as well. So offensively, Bulls looking extremely efficient, very promising, very unique. And as his minutes continue to increase throughout the year, I think he could potentially end the year averaging about 13 to 15 points per game. And then throughout the rest of his career, that's just going to continue to skyrocket as he gets more opportunities to handle the ball and just straight up dominate. Now let's talk about Bulls game on the defensive side of the floor because a lot throughout the last few years, his haters have been calling him a defensive liability, which just absolutely infuriates me because that's not true at all and he's proved that a lot this year. The truth is, Bull is a defensive liability when he's put into certain situations, aka when he gets a switch on a guard like Luka or a really fast guy like yesterday in De'Aaron Fox. Now unfortunately, the match Magic's defensive system is awful and he gets into those switches a lot of the time, which sometimes, I mean, a guard like De'Aaron Fox is going to make 7-2 Bull Bull look like an absolute fool. But at the same time, Bull has a lot of strengths defensively and can impact the game in a lot of great ways when he's playing to those strengths and the team's defensive system allows him to stay in a position where he's doing things like protecting the rim and blocking shots and being a help defender and coming in and contesting shots really well around the rim, getting a lot of just massive blocks, and just being able to rotate over and be a really good rim protector, and then at the same time just using his length to play a little bit on the perimeter, not exactly one-on-one -on -one against guards, but maybe leaping out to the corners and the wings to contest three-point shots. He's done actually a really good job of that this year. I mean, when you have a guy with a 7-8 wingspan running towards you, trying to block your three-point shot, obviously that's going to get to your head and it's, it's going to be a good contest. And he's done a really good job of that. So he isn't exactly a liability on the perimeter always. It's just when he's guarding one-on-one -on -one in kind of an isolation situation against a really crafty guard. So, and like I said, unfortunately, he's been put in those situations a lot, but if the Magic can figure out a system where Bull is really just not able to get into those switches a lot of the time, maybe play a little bit more at the small forward or power forward position, but still be able to rotate over and protect the rim, be a help defender, 
and block shots because that's really what he's good at. I mean, he's averaged almost two and a half blocks per game this year, which is really absolutely elite considering he's only playing 23 minutes per game so far this year. So really the main point is defensively, Bull in certain situations provides a lot of good things. And if he gets in a system where he's always playing to those strengths, he's going to be definitely an above average defender in the NBA. In terms of just the Magic managing Bull's minutes, they've done a fantastic job this year of easing him into his role, getting him more and more experience at the NBA level, and he's absolutely thriving, learning, and just continuing to develop because the best development is getting into NBA games and that's something that either the Denver Nuggets didn't realize or just couldn't do because they had a lot of depth and were contending for a playoff spot but the Magic are doing a fantastic job of developing Bull right now he's showing tons of promise on both ends of the floor and he's going to continue to develop and hopefully bring all of this skill this incredible skill that he has his amazing efficiency into just being a dominant overall player and probably an all-star one day if he can keep up the development that it, he's doing right now with the Orlando Magic. So that's all I've got for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed. I'm so glad that Bull Bull is getting an opportunity finally, and I'm so excited to see what's in stake for his future. Make sure you comment down below your thoughts on Bull Bull and what you think he's going to do the rest of this season and the rest of his career with the Orlando Magic, and I'll see you all in the next video.